What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another simple eye makeup tutorial for you. This is actually the look that I was wearing in my recent video where I showed you guys all of my eyeshadow palettes in my collection and a lot of you guys asked to see it. To be honest, not my favorite look. I feel like it turned out just a touch patchy and I'm not too thrilled with that, but enough people asked that I figured it was worth showing you guys anyway. So I'm mostly using the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette for this. They have some really gorgeous purples in there that I totally love, but I am using just a couple of shades from the Kathleen Lights and Color pop so jaded palette as well so you can use whatever palettes you have i'm just showing you guys the technique so let's get started so starting off by dipping into the lightest peachy pink shade in the bh cosmetics zodiac palette and i am just using a big fluffy brush for this to start to work it all over my eyes so basically i'm putting this all over everywhere because this is going to be kind of the base for everything that i'm putting down but i like to go from the outer crease corner in and sort of work my way over and that's just kind of the method that I do but whatever works for you just make sure you're popping it all over your face because that's where this eyeshadow is going. Then I'm going in with this cooler toned light purple shade and again just starting in the outer corner slash crease area and kind of just working that onto the outer half of my lid and then also into my crease. And honestly the purples that are in this palette are really the best purples that I have ever used pretty much for eyeshadow. I think these are really pigmented. They work really well. They're a little sheer when you first put them on but I feel like they build up so easily and they're just so bright. I don't know. I just... I feel like I always end up going back to this palette whenever it comes to purple eye makeup looks and I just can't really find any other purples that work as well for me. So this one is a huge win for me. <laughs> I'll always go back to my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. So once I've got that laid out where I want it to be on my eyelid, I am going to go back in with that peachy pink color and I'm just going to kind of blend it out. I always like to go back to the previous brushes slash colors that I use just to kind of blend everything out. I feel like it just makes everything a little bit more smooth and it makes it more of a seamless transition. And I'm just taking that same color on a different Different brush just so I can pop that on the lower lid there. So now I'm just taking this color Amethyst and this is the So Jaded palette and I really love this color. I feel like it really pops on my eyes. The only problem with it is I felt like it ended up being a little bit patchy. That's why I'm not too thrilled with how this look turned out. I guess I should have layered on a little bit more. The stuff that we're putting on right now it's gonna end up just kind of wiping off when we blend it away. So I am gonna pack on more of it but I just feel like I didn't do enough and I think that would have worked out a little bit better if I had. So again, just kind of blending that out with the purple shade that we just used before. And we are just going to blend out any harsh lines and just soften the whole look up. I feel like that's the whole name of the game is just blending everything out until it's nice and smooth. So now I'm just going in with this blue shade sapphire and I'm going to do basically the same thing that I did with that purple matte shade, but a little bit more concentrated in the outer corner and the crease. And I really liked adding just like a tiny touch of blue into this look because I feel like, I don't know, it, it just made it like a nice cooler toned, I don't know, I don't really know where I'm going with this thought, but I really liked the way that these colors combined and I thought they looked really cute. But again, I do wish I had done a little bit more in the center there just so that I could kind of blend everything out a little bit more seamlessly because that is endlessly frustrating <laughs> that I did not do that. And you never notice until you're like watching an up close high def video of yourself doing it because to the naked eye, I could absolutely not see this. <laughs> but I feel like these makeup videos that I'm doing are honestly like a learning process for me too. So I'm kind of learning how to show you guys while you're learning how to do it. So I don't know. Anyway, that's not really related to this video, but I'm just packing on some more of that beautiful amethyst color. Again, I really wish I had done just a touch more, but I feel like this is such a nice, beautiful pop of color. I almost wish I had done it over concealer so that it would be really sticky. So now I'm just taking some black from that BH Cosmetics palette and I'm kind of just putting it over where that navy blue went just to kind of deepen the look. I always like to add, if I can, some black eyeshadow just to the outer corner, just to make the look a little bit more dimensional. I think that really helps. And then of course, I am just going to blend that out and try to make it transition nicely into the other colors. So I'm taking this shade Cancer on a tiny little brush and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. I feel like I had to use it because it was a nice like bluish grayish purple and that's my sign. So I just kind of wanted to include it, I don't know. And then I'm taking this Ofra highlight and I'm just putting it on the inner corner again, just because I felt like that color was just a 
touch dark. I also put it like underneath my brow because I feel like I see people on YouTube do that a lot, but it didn't really do anything for me. So now I'm just done with the eyeshadows. I'm going to put on my lower liner with some pencil and then I'm going to do my winged liner with a little winged liner brush thingy and we're just kind of going with it. <laughs> This is pretty much the end of the look. I just like to add my mascara and then I go in with some nice big false lashes because I don't know I feel like most of the time that completes the look for me But I do want to stress that you don't have to wear either the winged liner or the false lashes in any of the tutorials that I show you That's pretty much just how I finish a look But all of the looks that I have worn pretty much in my life I have also done without winged liner or lashes because generally day-to-day -day, unless I'm like going out somewhere nice I feel like I do don't wear winged liner or lashes. I just do the eyeshadow and then I do the mascara and that's kind of like the full look for me. But anyway, this is the whole look. I hope you guys like it. Again, I feel like I'm just not thrilled with how the center of the lid turned out, but I hope that you managed to enjoy it anyway and maybe it can inspire you to do some nice bright purples on your lids or maybe just a tiny little pop of purple if you feel like it. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.